An outpouring of solidarity in the wake of the attacks in Paris. But is there a political solution to stop the war of the so-called Islamic State spilling further onto the streets of Europe? It's time to find out. Welcome to the agenda. Six coordinated attacks across Paris massacred innocent people and left hundreds injured. In its aftermath, the country remains in a state of emergency as police across France and Belgium hunt the terrorist network behind the attacks. French President François Hollande has declared war on ISIS. Airstrikes are already underway with renewed force on ISIS strongholds in Syria. But will other member states answer the Republic's battle cry? At the Strasbourg plenary on Wednesday morning, expect a key debate on terrorism. And in the afternoon, MEPs will vote on measures to stop the radicalization and recruitment of EU citizens. But the attacks in Paris have now fueled the EU migration debate. Should borders be controlled, which would then stop the free flow of migrants? With no solution on how to tackle the civil war in Syria, EU and African leaders met last week in Valletta in Malta to find a way to stabilize the refugee crisis. What comes next for the action plan? Follow the debate on the outcome of the summit on Wednesday. A report that finally gets the plenary. MEPs will vote on the Special Committee on Taxes' recommendations for better tax practices. The Special Committee called to break when on Tuesday 11 multinational companies, including Google and Facebook, accepted an invitation to discuss their tax practices with MEPs. The vote takes place on Wednesday. One in three women have experienced physical or sexual violence. It's time to orange your world and show your support. The colour orange has been chosen to symbolise a brighter future, one free of violence. The parliament in Strasbourg will also be lit up in orange to support the cause on Wednesday evening from 8pm to midnight. MEPs will debate the issue on Wednesday morning and some are expected to also dress up in orange. And finally, the winner of the Lux Prize 2015 will be unveiled in Strasbourg on Tuesday. So that gives you just a few more days before either Mustang, The Lesson or Mediterranean take the crown. And that's all we have for this agenda. Take care and enjoy the week.